Hey everybody, how you doing? I hope everybody's having a blessed day today. Okay, welcome back to the channel. So I got another little, uh, new little pickup for you today. So I got a lawnmower that, uh, my son took the head off of it and he, uh, stripped the, uh, one of the bolts out to the rocker arms. So it's aluminum head. Um, so we had to go to, uh, AutoZone. AutoZone sells these, uh, kits here. They're OEM tools. They're throw repair kits. Now this one here is a quarter 20, uh, throw repair kit. And as you can see, it does come with uh, three of the inserts that you can put in, and it also comes with a tap. Um, it does not come with a drill bit. I know some of them come with a, uh, a drill bit in case you have to drill it out before you tap it. Uh, part number for this is 25602. Uh, this part here, or this tool here, was uh, $25, and after tax and all, it was uh, it was around $30. Bucks. So I'll just take a quick look at it here. It does have... Uh, a rubber coat or a rubber like a rubber dipped handle here over top of it and it does have the OEM's tools onto the side here and then you got your uh, your set screw here with your collar here depending on uh, you can like I said you can set the depth for this to how deep this thing's gonna have to go so you have that with it like I said you still and you got your uh, the three inserts here and then you come with the a or just a regular Guess it's a starter tap. Oh, all right. So, sorry. Welcome back. Okay, here we are. Here's the tap here, and it's uh, it's not a bottom tap. It's kind of like a starter tap here. But anyway, you have uh, you have some uh, stamping here, or, uh, laser etching here on the side of it. It's STI. I'm not sure the name brand, but it's HHS, so it's high speed steel, and it says quarter twenty UNC twenty. So uh does come with this you're going to have to either use your uh an adjustable to hold this or if you have a uh, tap and die set like i got with all the tools here you can uh, put this inside of a tap and die set tool to uh, use it for that uh, we'll take a quick look into the book here that comes with it and just like i said it has some uh has some different measurements in here it has the different size of oh, no, some, some of the other kits it has with their part numbers and uh that's pretty much it you know, just that's the basic kit here tells you what you need here as far as uh thread sizes it also has all your metric has they have metric kits as well apparently and then uh you have this book here and this pretty much uh gives you the rundown on it it says for the instructions it says drill if necessary so this is aluminum. We shouldn't. Uh, we may not have to drill it out. It should. Uh, this tap should cut through the aluminum pretty easy. We shouldn't have to drill. Drill to clean out any uh, of the damaged area threads. Uh, it says that, and then it says use the thread gauge and ensure that the thread matches the apparent application, which I already checked it with the uh, thread gauge that comes with my tap and die set. So I've already checked that uh, as well. That's how I got the size tap place tip into the tap wrench it says that and insert the tool put the tool down through it and then you just uh you thread it down in there and then like i said you have the tang removal here this uh when you get to the bottom of it you can just uh that little tang on the bottom of it here i'll show you real quick it's the tang here once you uh once you screw it sorry once you screw it all the way in you're supposed to snap this little uh this little piece right here you're supposed to snap that off and I think you just, uh, once you screw it in, usually you just take that and hit this, hit this and it should break, should break right off once you, uh, once you thread it in there. So that's the tang removal for that. Disengage the install tool, turn the tool about 90 degrees, thrust the tool down. Yeah, you just hit it with your hand against the tang sharply to remove the tang. So that's how you do. Once you get it in place, you just break it off. I'm going to use a little bit of, uh. Thread locker though, when I uh, when I screw this in, we're gonna put a little bit of thread locker on this uh, insert here before we do it. So uh, let's cut away and we'll uh, I'll show you the lawnmower and stuff that we're gonna be doing this on. Okay, so I uh, I got the tap here in the uh, this is a gear wrench, one of my gear wrench tools here. But anyway, this is uh, just a holder, but uh, it should uh, work pretty nicely now. If I was cutting into some hard steel, this is like I said, this is aluminum. If I was cutting into some harder steel, I could put some uh, some tapping fluid into here. But like I said, I'm just 
Just want to make sure she's going in there uh, straight. And, and once you get her started, she, she should go in there pretty, uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. But like I said, you just want to get it started straight. Once you get her going, and you just, like I said, you go back a little bit. And then in a little bit, like I said, you just want to break those uh, threads in there. I just go back and forth. I'll just do a turn and then back it a little tiny bit and then do another partial turn. And I usually just do it like this when I'm uh, when I'm tapping something. Like I said, this is uh, just aluminum. I'm not using any tapping fluid on this or whatever, or whatever kind of cutting fluid you want to use so you don't uh, mess, your, uh, mess your tip up and whatnot. But like I said, this is nice. Nice soft aluminum, so it should go in there pretty easy. And we'll just go ahead and we'll run this thing all the way, uh, all the way through this first. And like I said, we're I think we're already through because now it's easy. And actually, uh, the bolt actually comes out the bottom of the uh, this head right here comes out the bottom of this uh, casing that it's in. So this is like a, a through bolt. The other one now, the other one is also. Uh, a through bolt too but I had put Loctite on them as I uh, when I installed them so we'll do that and there you go I don't know if you can see that or real well let me uh get flashlight here it's got nice uh it's kind of hard to say let me get you closer in here as you can see cut some uh nice decent sized uh, threads into that see if I can get you a better angle here and there and as you can see like I said, it is a through hole here, uh, but like you see, it's nice clean threads here. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean all these uh, these metal shavings up, and then I'll, we'll be back with the tap tool, and we're going to go ahead and just, uh, we'll put the insert in there and break the tang off. Uh, like I said, we'll come right back. Okay, welcome back. So, uh, we got the uh, tool here, as you can see, and we got a one of our inserts here. We're just going to go ahead and slide that over the... Uh, the tang here all the way uh oops all the way up like i said i'm gonna put a little bit of a uh, medium grade uh loctite on here just on the uh, insert just to help keep it on there and you can see that i put a little bit on the insert and like i said you just uh you stick it in there and you start uh you thread it in there And let's go a little bit more. And there you go. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's kind of hard to see. But I got it a little bit past uh, where it's flush. And then it says to put this piece in here. And then you just hit this. And bust the, uh, bust the tang off of it. Now you can see it's a through hole. Now when I go ahead and put my uh, rocker arm back into it. Wherever that's at. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of the. Uh, now here it is. I said I'm gonna put a little bit more of the uh, blue Loctite. I got a little bit on the very end of it here, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that back together. I gotta put the uh, this uh, rocker arm, the arm back in it as well. It goes down in here in this hole here. Uh, you can see here, it's kind of hard to see. I got the flashlight. You can see there's a piece that goes down in there. Let me get uh, a little bit of Loctite on this. Uh, just put a little bit of Loctite on the end of this, and this just threads back into this hole here, like that. But that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to share that with you. I hope this is helpful to you. God bless you guys. Stay safe and just have a great evening. Thank you. Good night.